Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today it's a beautiful day at the farm and I'm ready for another project. I'm not sure if you remember this area here, but let me give you a quick flashback. Yes, this is exactly this area. And as you can see, once I cleared everything, I found that there's a cement pad underneath. So I'm gonna use that. I think I'm gonna put a table right about here and I put a garden around it. I already purchased the wood for the table. It's still in the car, so let's go get it. Follow me and lessons anfangen. I purchased all my lumber, screws and stain for this project from Home Depot. To make it easy to bring the lumber to my backyard, I enlisted the help of my tractor. Once I gathered all the supplies, I started by cutting all the pieces to size. For that, I used my miter saw. All right, that was the last cut. Now we are ready to do a slide assemble. People always ask me for plans and I'm not the person that actually makes really plans. I just draw something up and then cut the wood and hope it fits. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how this looks. So you see the stretchers on the side, the legs, inside supports. This will be for the table. And this is the leg for one of the benches. I wanted to give the table set a more modern look, so I decided to square up all the edges since they do come rounded over from the store. So I just used my table saw to shave off the sides. Once the pieces were square, I ran them through the planer, just to take off the very surface to make the pieces smooth and take off any ink stains. It's like a one-person assembly line here, very efficient. Now it's time to assemble all the pieces. I wanted to hide all of the screws, so I chose to use pocket holes. The easiest way to use pocket holes is with the pocket hole jig, like the one from Craig. The one I have is an older model. I think they do have newer models, but this one works great and gets the job done. I started with assembling the two small benches. The table bowl will be the same exact assemble. I drilled four pocket holes into the bottom piece of the bench. Then I drilled one hole on each side of the smaller top pieces. To assemble the bench, I did not only use screws, but also added wood glue. How could that have been avoided? And yes, a bigger workbench is definitely on my to-do list. Pocket screws are notorious for moving at the last few millimeters when you screw them in, so I use clamps to avoid this. 
This is the base of one of the small benches. I also added two more reinforcement pieces in the middle to make the structure more sturdy. Now let's do it again for the second bench and the table. Here I'm adding the reinforcement pieces for the table. Once everything is assembled, it's time for a quick sand. So let's have some fun. Okay, okay, that should be smooth enough. For the stain, I'm using Olympic semi-transparent woodland cedar color. And the first piece is done. Uh, about 70 more to go or so. I did a little experiment here to see if it's easier to stain before or after assemble. To me, it was easier to stain the bottom pieces of the structure after assemble. For the top pieces, it was easier to stain the back and sides before assemble. Then I attached them and then I went ahead and stained them. Here I assembling the bench. This is the one example as I stained all the pieces beforehand. The table I stained the top in the end and it came out the nicest. To attach the tops, I'm using wood glue and nails. I have about a 2mm spacing in between all of the pieces. This not only gives room for natural movement of the wood, but also the drain of the water. And the first bench is fertig. Here you can see the base of the bench with the reinforcement pieces in the middle. It is the easiest to attach the outside pieces first to get proper spacing in the middle. The table took the longest to assemble. Before applying the stain, I quickly gave the top pieces one last sand. And the table is stained and has fully dried, that means we are fatigued. Now I only have one issue, the table is way too heavy for me to move, so I have to enlist the help of a friend again. This forklift attachment to my tractor has saved my life a few times already. I just have to make sure I put it right in the center, because the last thing I want to do is to drop that table. Perfectly centered. Let's take the table to its intended location. Now you might say, what happened to the benches on the other side? Well, I never built them, because I wanted to add some comfy, cushioned, cozy chairs to the setup. That's for the future though, for now the setup will do. What do you think? Do you like my build? Now I can wait to start to build my garden all around the table setup. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Please make sure when you subscribe you also tap on the bell so you get notified of new videos. If you'd like to see more content, please check out my Patreon. Your support means everything to me. Thank you so much for following along my journey. See you next time. Tschüss!